Good morning, Tony and Roxy. Good morning, everyone. L.A. County firefighters remain on scene here. They're actually behind the homes uh, taking care of some hot spots that remain today. But I want to show you this. We're on Cinco View Drive, where sadly two homes were lost. But when firefighters arrived, the houses were actually already burning. So they rushed to start putting out the flames. But some firefighters went into one of the homes, which is a total loss, by the way, and began pulling out what they could for this family. Just any Everything they saw, we see computer hard drives, we see pieces of art, family pictures, we see the grandfather clock that might mean so much to this family. We don't know. Again, pieces of art, photographer Armando Hernandez showing you uh, just mementos. They grabbed anything and everything they could for this family before, sadly, the home was lost. And again, this is some firefighters while the other firefighters were busy trying to put out the fire. Now, take a look at the video. Again, we're on Cinco View Drive, right off of Banyan Rim Drive, where these two homes were lost, and one of them was damaged in yesterday's firestorm. The fire moving so fast, it was just a matter of minutes before it reached these homes burning uphill. Now, it started in Sycamore Canyon below just after 2.30, the flames being pushed by those infamous Santa Ana winds, quickly moving towards the houses and neighborhoods. A second alarm was immediately declared, sending hundreds of firefighters into the area. But again, when they arrived, just minutes after the fire started, the homes were already on fire. Now, thankfully, everyone managed to get out safely and no residents or firefighters were hurt. But there was one man found in the canyon below. We're told with burns to over 10% of his body, mostly his arms and hands. Sources telling us this morning that both neighbors and law enforcement officials know who the man is. He's a local transient who is known to hang out in that Canyon. He was taken to the hospital to be treated for those burns, and the plan is to interview him after. There was one patient that was taken from the scene with some non life threatening burns to his extremities, and he was evaluated by our paramedics and transferred to a local area hospital. He was behind the homes. Um, I think that's something a matter for the sheriff to determine. And exactly, it will be law enforcement who will interview the man to see what he knows about the fire. No one calling him a suspect, but a person of interest right now. Let's bring it back here live to Cinco View Drive again. Another look at some of the things that firefighters were able to pull out from one of the homes here that uh, unfortunately was lost. We'll send it back to you. Mm, that is really mm. unfortunate. All right, Gigi, thanks so much.